Ryland T. Ryland Tylefer is who we're going to watch here with blue-white control. Tom off to a good start here with a noble hierarch. An island there for Tylefer as we go over to uh, Zibos. And I think this should be a pretty good matchup for Tom. Uh, obviously, he's not going to be pressured at all by the blue-white deck. It's not going to attack him, his hand. So his cards are always safe that way. And he's got a lot of things that stop spot removal. We're looking at four Vines of the Vastwood, four Blossoming Defense. That's mm -hmm. huge. He also has two Spell Pierce in his main deck here. So, you know, when he decides to go for it, he's going to have a lot of ways to force it through. Tom with the Ikmoth Nexus into a Blighted Agent. Now, Tylefer. He's got to be worried a little bit as he's going to play a Spreading Seas. <laughs> he's putting it on the board. He says, I'm going to go for one of your lands. Yeah, not sure which one. Still deciding. Yeah. It looks like it's going to resolve on Breeding Pool. So maybe trying to cut the colors of mana here as we go over to Tom. Does Tom have a win this turn is the question. Uh, maybe. Five. Nine. nine ten. Ten. Cool. Turn three is good. Welcome back, Tom. <laughs> Give that spreading seeds back to Ryland, and we're all set. So, no muss, no fuss. Just, just <laughs> dust, <laughs> dust off the old affinity <laughs> cards. We are underway here, and it looks like an irrigated farmland. That's a little funny. Just one of those there for Ryland. And for Tom Ross, a Pendlehaven into a Noble Hierarch. A Flood Strand there for Talifer, and we pass back over to the boss, who's uh got an Inkmoth Nexus. And a Nissa voice of Zendikar. <laughs> All right. This is probably not what Ryland thought he was going to be seeing on turn three. Make a little plant token here. Are we go on regular damage beatdowns then, or over to Ryland we go. Supreme Verdict the draw. Colonnade is the land. We pass back. And this Nissa might be a problem. Magic. I don't think Ryland's deck is really all that set up against Planeswalkers after sideboard. The question is, can Nissa kind of do it on her own? Yeah, it just creates such such a diversified amount of threats. You know, if he starts building towards ultimating it, uh, you know, it, it can potentially just get bounced with a cryptic command. Mm -hmm. But I, I think what he wants to do is, is maybe make another token this turn, next turn minus to spread out a lot of power on a bunch of different creatures. All right, he's going to go down now. Yeah, he's going to bring it down, which means he's going to power up the squad. Ink Moth now turns into a 2-2. Two -two. And it looks like just attack with Ink Moth. Oh, why can't that plant token hang out? He wasn't invited to the party. Yeah, Elliot nope. wants to get in there. Nope. Not allowed. Nope. I guess Exalted makes some sense. Not yeah, Got to leave the plant at home. All right, over to Ryland T. We're going to go... And this is exactly what I was talking about. It looks like he's got a land and a, a Wrath of God effect, but he's still staring down the land with a, a counter on it. He's still staring down the Planeswalker, so it's this diversified threat base that's looking really good for Tom here. And Telefer can play a land in a Supreme Verdict if he'd like. There's the island. Here's the Verdict. So, Noble Hierarch and Elliot Raff, you're out of here. I'm going with Mr. T. Mr. T? Ryland, Mr. T. Okay. Well, Nissa, gone. Is he? Uh oh. Oh no, he's moving uh -oh. fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, how absurd. Two mutagenic gross. And Nissa in combination with an Ink Moth Nexus means that Tom Ross. He's all set. He's all set.